Hello YouTube, NBG here, and welcome to the fourth episode of my gold making journey. Let's get started. We start every time that we get on the bank alt, we start ourselves a cancel scan. So let's go ahead and run that, and then I will go get my expireds and my cancels out of the mailbox. Posting my canceled and expired items, I notice I still have about 25 of the uh, heavy desolate armor kits this time, and I have about 25, I think, of the uh, intellect potions as well. So hopefully my mailbox is still pretty good. I have a good amount of value that did not sell yesterday, but let's go ahead and check the mailbox and see what did sell. Uh, looks like our uh, mailbox is still at 114,000. That's really nice. That kind of seems to be the average in the last three or four days, about 100 and 115 plus, which is really, really good news. Especially I only, uh, especially considering that I only spent what 30k, a little over 30k, if that, yesterday on our crafting needs. I am currently sitting at two million and ninety-seven thousand gold. Uh, I don't remember exactly where we left off yesterday. I think I left off at like two million and like seventy something. I only did about four callings, I think, again, and of course I did my tables at the end of the night as well, my covenant tables. So yeah, let's go over this. It's honestly, it's everything you saw me make yesterday. Same old, same old stuff. My celestial guidances, my looks like the tomes of the still mine that I had made the day before finally sold. Let's see here. Obviously a whole bunch of crafted gear that's still selling. Not at huge prices, but some of it is. Like some of it will will actually still be like over a thousand gold and be like dang near a thousand gold profit or more. Um, here's some of the missives I sold yesterday. More leveling gear, more celestial guidances, different stacks of the heavy uh, the heavy desolate armor kits. Yeah, that's about it. Alright. Let's go ahead and grab this and see what my new total is. There we go. My new total for today is two million and two hundred and eleven thousand gold. All right. With that, let's move on over to the Covenant Tables. Here we are at Covenant Table number one. Man, I love my Covenant Tables. Uh, I think last night I made over 10k um, on my round through Covenant Tables just in that one sitting, which is quite awesome. Let's go ahead and get these going. I will go ahead and open up all my caches, sell anything I need to, and move all of my goods to the characters that they need to go to for today's crafting. I will meet you at the last covenant table. Alright, here we are in the final tune. Just gather everything. Open up any cash I have. Send everything out. Let's double check the gold. 2,219,000. So yeah, looks like I made like 8,000 off, of, uh, off of the Covenant tables this morning. Again, I'd like to point out that you only need about 7,000 right now, daily, to be able to afford a, a WoW token in the U.S. right now. So just my morning routine is good enough for a WoW token plus, not including, you know, not including materials, not including the fact that right now I'm doing it twice a day. I'll say it for the millionth time. Do your covenant tables. They're OP. They generate so much gold. So much gold. Anyway, let's uh, let's head on over to the bank alt and see what we need to make today. Here we are in the bank alt, going over my crafting queue, trying to see what I'm making today. Already narrowed it down. Um, I do gotta say, it looks like I'll be making an awful lot today. Uh, this this. Uh, this looks pretty time consuming today. We'll see, I might knock some stuff out. Like again, there's a good chance I don't do inscription stuff just based on the prices of what I can get. Um, that would save a lot of time. Other than that, 
I didn't quite sell all my heavy def desolate armor kits yesterday, but I'm still gonna make a bunch just because I'm, I'm making like three times the amount it costs to make them. You know, so it's like I'm spending about 10k or so a day on the heavy desolate leather, and I'm raking in 30 to 40k from it. Like it's 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 super easy. So I'm gonna be doing that. Looks like it actually wants me to make some lightless uh, silk pouches today. Those show up every once in a while. They definitely sell. Um, other than that, not many enchants, so I'll probably look at the uh, specifically the Celestial Guidance. I'll probably take a look at that, because I'm sure I've sold out. I probably have materials sitting there anyway, so I might do that. Oh yeah, and yesterday, I finally got enough rep to get the Feast of Gluttonous uh, Hedonism. So, today is going to be my first attempt at making these and just seeing if it's worth the time so I got rid of all the other cooking stuff and I'm just gonna focus on this feast this time just to see how good it is I mean it shows some pretty good profit so you know we'll see and other than that the only other thing is it's not showing any of the power potions uh, one thing I will do is I'm gonna quickly take a look at the cost of herbs and the, so first of all the uh, spectral flask of power its price has risen up to $3.99. That tells me it should be worth making. It should be worth making. Widow Bloom, a little bit high. Uh, Marrow Roots, low though, uh, for what I normally see it. Uh, Rising Glory is about right. Nightshade's high, definitely, for this server. And Vigils is about right. Um, so this might be one of those things that, uh, gosh, if I get time, as per usual. I might decide to go out and farm some Widow Bloom and buy everything else. Um, I mean, even the Nightshade at like double its cost. Like, if I at least go farm the Widow Bloom, that's where I'm probably going to save the most money. I'll get some Nightshade along the way, and then I'll still make it because $3.99, I'm kind of surprised that it's not popping up for me to make. So, yeah, we will, we will double check on that. Um, but beyond that, I, uh, I think that's my plan for today. Maybe, maybe potions. Honestly, I just saw the price of the, uh, of the nightshade. And that tells me immediately that I'm not doing inscription today. So let's just go ahead and mark all of that stuff off now. So there we are. That's what we have. Let's get shopping. Uh, so this is the part of our shopping that I was interested in. I wanted to know how much it was going to cost to buy the cooking supplies I need for this new feast. Uh, the vast majorities look look quite fine given the uh, given the amount that I need to buy. Uh, those are more expensive than I thought too. But this one right here, I don't I don't think I'm going to buy nine thousand gold worth of these. I don't even know how much do I need. 193? Do I dare fish these up myself? Is that really going to be a pain in the ass? Um, I believe those come from Bastion. I could try. I could try and fish for a while, and if it's too difficult or takes too long, maybe I'll bag it or only make some. But I'm definitely not buying them at that price. Um, even this for the ribs, a bit high, but it's only 680 gold. So yeah, we'll see about that. I, I think I am going to go out and do that. Like, maybe I won't do the power potions today. I don't want to have to go farm both herbs and go fishing. Like, that's way too time intensive. So I may pick one or the other. We'll see. But this one's new. I kind of want to do this. So maybe I'll go out and fish for a little bit and, and see if that's worth it or not to me. I mean, it's worth it selling it at these prices, that's for sure. 44 gold per? Dang. Anyway, all right, keep on shopping. So I decided I'm gonna go on to all my crafters and I'm gonna craft all the things that I can. And after I get done crafting all the things that I, I do have supplies for, uh, then I will consider my options on whether or not I wanna go do some herbing or go out and try some fishing so that I can make those feasts. But for now, the most important thing is to just resupply what I can and get it back on the auction house as quickly as possible so that it has 
more opportunity to sell. Alright, first crafter it is. After this, uh, I don't know who I'll head to, but first up, blacksmithing. Alright, here we are on my enchanter and tailor. Just gonna grab everything I've sent over. And I want to double check and see what I can make through enchanting today. Um, actually, let's go ahead and craft those while I'm waiting. I wanted to scroll down and... Oops. There we are. I wanted to scroll down and take a look at some of the costs on making specifically the Celestial Guidance. Yeah, it wasn't even going to have me make any today. I don't really know why. Um, either way, I'm going to make like 20 of those, I think. Oops. Let's just stick 20 of those into the queue and get to crafting. Oh, I see. It's going to want me to have more soul dust and stuff. Well. That's easy because I can just break down some of these eternal crystals at least uh, for the sacred shards given I have as many as I do. So we'll do that and I think I'm going to go ahead and go buy a little bit more soul dust. After that we'll do some tailoring. Here I am on my leather worker. I would just like to mention that I think I had to spend upwards of 16,000 gold or something just in thread for leatherworking and tailoring. Um, so I, I really need to get my reputations under control so that I can lower the price and save thousands of gold. Um, because honestly, that's probably at least a third of what I've spent gold on today for crafting materials. It's probably just been on thread so yeah I, I gotta get that fixed on the alchemist just gonna go ahead and make all of these potions um, after that wait what do I not have enough of oh, I thought I sent over some distilled death extract it's okay I have one on the auction house so I won't make that today anyway I'm gonna make uh, make all these potions and then we'll head over to the bank cult and get all uh, get all this stuff posted Alright, on the bank alt now. Uh, already ran a cancel scan. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and grab all my cancels and grab all of the new stuff I just made. And we'll go ahead and get this stuff posted. Yeah, I basically have a full bag worth of stuff to post. After I get done posting all this stuff, I'm probably going to take a look at the prices on the herbs I would need for the power potions, as well as the price on the fish that I would need for the gluttonous feast, just to see if, for whatever reason, it's uh, more reasonable to actually buy that stuff from the auction house. If not, I think my plan is to go back to Oribos on my fisher, fisherman and get some bait to head out there to Bastion to get some of that uh, silver gill and just see how time consuming that seems to be because I haven't really done it. I'm not much of a uh, fisherman on World of Warcraft so um, I have no idea if it's worth the time or not but I'm gonna I'm gonna check it out. On checking the pie price of the uh, Silvergill Pike, uh, the price has risen even higher so um, it might really be worth my time to go farm these at 50 gold a pop. On my fisherman, uh, my headed on over to Oribos. I'm gonna buy myself a little bit of silver gill pike bait, and we're gonna go out and check out the farm. Remember. All right, we found a nice little spot for some fishing. I'm gonna go ahead and pop on my bait, and I'll even put up a loot appraiser just to kind of track the time. Uh, still need 192 silver gill pike, but. Uh, Let's go ahead and see just how long this takes. Gosh, fishing is so much waiting. Alright. Check back with you in a bit. 
here we are about uh, 30 minutes in just finished off the first bait and I haven't quite even got half of what I need um, whether or not this is worth the time I don't know but um, I like to see numbers go down I like to get experience and things of that nature so I think I'm gonna sit here until this uh, this gets finished so I can make all 75 that I wanted to all right here we are just finishing up the fishing uh, kind of just for my own reference it looks like it took you know 58 minutes to get like the 192 I think that I needed this is kind of the only reason I was using Ludum Prazer just to kind of give me an idea um, so with that in mind it looks like about one hour per about a hundred fish or at least that's what it looks like for this fish anyway that was kind of a long time I didn't really think I was gonna spend quite that much time fishing but that's all right let's head on over and make the feast uh, we are back in Oribos, heading on over to make these feasts. Alright. Let's do it. I'm going to get all uh, 75 of these made, and I'm going to go throw them up on the auction house. Here we are at the auction house again. I uh, go ahead and I ran a cancel scan, grabbed all my canceled, grabbed my expired, grabbed the feast that I just, uh, I just created, and let's get all this posted up. I'm real interested to see uh, just how good these fees are in terms of uh, profit, so it should be interesting. And there we have it. I am done for the day with all my crafting and all that. Um, my only plan now is to probably do a, a, a few cancel scans throughout the day, especially in the early evening. You know, do my uh, tables again at night. And not much else. I may go out and farm some of those herbs but honestly not really feeling like it so we'll see um, I do need to get about four of the uh, callings done just kind of on my main characters mostly because I'm trying to push reputation more than anything else just to get that done and that's about it uh, just make sure you cancel scan throughout the day as much as you can honestly that that's really what's going to help you make a bigger profit so that is definitely my plan every at least every couple of hours here early and then after that once it hits around the four o'clock um, in my region then i will probably start cancel scanning like every hour if i can and we will see what we're at tomorrow so with that please like and subscribe let me know anything i can do differently anything maybe i can make a video on just to uh give you something you know answer one of your questions give you something to uh, give you something to watch and with that I will see you next time